Can any plant protein ever truly replace that juicy T-bone steak? Some scientists and investors are willing to bet yes. Hey, this is Annie for DNews filling in for Trace. Take a look around your local supermarket and you're likely to find a bunch of meat alternatives. Soy rizo, facon, tofurkey, all of which emulate a meat product but are made from plant-based ingredients. The paradox, of course, well, none of them really taste like meat. No matter how tasty that veggie burger might be in its own right, very few fake meat products currently on the market are likely to fool a discerning eater. One company called Beyond Meat says they've created a chicken alternative that's similar enough to satisfy not just vegetarian who make up about 5% of Americans, but true meat lovers, replicating that stringy consistency of real meat with soy and pea proteins pushed through an alternating cascade of high and low pressure. These products are the result of a collaboration between the founders and biomedical engineers at the University of Missouri who've been working on this problem for years. And they've attracted funding from none other than Bill Gates and other investors looking to address the large-scale issue of food production in an environmental crunch. Much of this focus on future meat is driven primarily by consumers concern about the impact of traditional meat production on the environment. In 2006, the UN estimated that the livestock industry produced 18% of the world's emissions every year, more than cars, trains, and planes combined. And as the world population grows, so do worries that meeting demand for meat is just not sustainable. And companies that focus on meatier faux meat for consumers are far from the only ones working on this issue. In May, Anthony told you all about the world's first lab-grown hamburger made by researchers in the Netherlands. This burger was made from tiny tiny beef strips grown from stem cells and took five years to make. This was intended as a proof of concept for more environmentally responsible alternatives to producing real meat. And according to taste tests, it tasted reasonably good. Well, it's a start. And beyond meat even, we're seeing efforts to revolutionize food production with 3D printing. Recently, we learned that NASA is funding the creation of food replicators, yes, not unlike the ones we know from Star Trek, and early prototypes have been able to successfully print out a little square pizza made of carbs, protein, proteins and nutrients in powder form. So could it be long before we can 3D print delicious chicken fajitas in our own homes? And can anything really replace a juicy steak? And would people go for it? Let us know what you think on Twitter or Facebook at DNews. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.